So it is not we who are keeping you from the White House. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. That's true. You know, I agree. Women I, don't, not, I do agree with you. I women do don't vote for women. Don't you think that that's oh, that conditioning? insulting? We're, we're conditioned no, by no. patriarchal oppression. It's that always, is no. ridiculous. If there was a woman are. that you thought was great, you'd vote for her. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Yeah, don't but, you think but most women, they? they're not, they don't go into politics. I'm voting for Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Good for you. Because I'm a New York State Good resident. Good for you. If I lived there, I would vote for her too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'd vote for Hillary if I could. Yeah. I do. I, I like Hillary. I mean, she's, you know, She's kind a, of insane, for sure. Yeah, but right? it's a boys' club, Julie. <laughs> but she really wants to. She wants the job so bad. I think she'd do a pretty good job if she was there. I do. I do. Yeah. She's hung in there so much. It must mean a lot to her, <laughs> right? <laughs> She's put up with everything. Right. As a woman, I would support her if I could vote for her. Okay, I, I have okay. to ask you something. What What is the What do you foresee as the conclusion if things continue the way they are? Oh, if things continue, I really feel we will be the first society in history uh, where we sort of make men second-class citizens. Now, I didn't think it was good that women were second-class citizens. What I believe in as an equity feminist is fairness for men and women. But if you take an objective look at what's going on in our schools, I don't think any fair-minded person could do anything but conclude that the boys are mistreated, held back, their needs are not addressed, the girls are the sort of center of attention. We have Daughter's Day, we have all sorts of but programs. we are ahead in school shooting. Well, yeah. We have to take yeah, a commercial. Yeah. We'll be right back. Oh, and our guest will be comedy legend Michael McKeon, actress Shannon Elizabeth, author Molly John Fast, and from the Young America's Foundation, Melissa Moskal. All right, we were talking about boys and girls and such. Let me twist this a little. There was a uh, uh, article in the paper this week about a South Carolina minister. <clears throat> Don't write me and say this is anti-religion. I am anti-religion, but this is another deal. <laughs> he had sex with a 14-year-old Sunday school student of his. Okay, but a girl, mm -hmm. so there's that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> he was sentenced to 12 years in prison, which was reduced by the judge in half when he found out that the girl was six foot tall and weighed 200 pounds. That is <laughs> such a horrifying story. Because? Because it's like if the girl's skinny, it, you know, if she's Christine Aguilera, then it's really, you should be punished. But she, she's a fat chick. It's not as bad. That is horrifying. The judge, well, the judge should be recalled. I mean, bottom line, it's horrifying. I agree with Julie, it's horrifying. A 14-year-old girl, doesn't matter what size no. she is, does not know I, what is what, and I she agree. should not be taken advantage of by her minister. Uh, well, of right. course. The, the right. minister, who, who's, who reduced the sentence? The judge, judge, when he found <laughs> out that the girl... The probably because the judge wa was afraid of going to hell if he didn't do something, you know, good deed. And so... Yeah, he, but the it, Baptists go to hell? Yeah. Oh, I don't okay. know, I think so. But, I mean, the argument has always been when someone is in court in, on such a case, Your Honor, she looked 18, she looked older, but, I mean, isn't this a case where the girl did look old? I mean, if she's six foot tall, and 200 pounds. She, she was in Sunday school. Yeah, but he knew when he made the judgment that she was 14. Yeah. He knew that. Hey, there are a lot but, of girls who are 14 and look a lot older, but I've never gotten in any trouble. Uh, <laughs> so. He basically has. I tell you. So it can happen. And I'm not a minister. No, right. but having, but having been... Always get two forms yeah, of but having I been a that four, that's... Yeah. Having been a 14-year-old girl, does I imagine we all have been 14-year-old girls? At, I know, back in the dark I ages, I, I know. <laughs> but you don't, I mean, when I think of what I was like when I was 14, I could have... Okay, I was not as good as I could have been, but guys... Actually, what? That's, that's not, no, that's, no. you know, that's none of your business, actually, Julie. Well, I but, didn't know what you meant, good is good. Why, you told us I'm about good. your marriage, let's hear no, about no. your childhood. No, no, I didn't know what you meant, You mean passed good. judgment on my I'm marriage, kidding. right? Um, I didn't. You, well, let's I, not go there, so okay. all right. But um, I, I just think when a, someone in authority like that should just... It doesn't matter if she looked 18. She was in Sunday school. You're not likely right. to be in Sunday school when you're 18 years old, yeah. right? Yes. Is, am I right? You are. Yeah, a right. judge shouldn't be making a decision based on what the girl looked like. He should make the decision based on whether or not the minister was wrong in, in his... But don't uh, other things count? I mean, a little bit. If, if, he, if he coerced her and it was an aggressive assault, then, of course, I can understand 12 years in jail. But if it was just some human failing and they, they had a love affair, 
of course it's a terrible thing and he should lose his job and, and serve some time. 14. 12 so years, see? Young, but 12 just, years It's prison? statutory rape. Yeah. Whichever way you cut it, it's statutory rape it and is, they should throw the a, book at him. There's a human side. I mean, uh, just I mean, it's kind of okay. Not it's, kind of okay, but I think just 12 years in prison to be marked as a sex predator. Well, when, he was. Yeah, he's a minister. It's yeah, yeah, I'm he's not minister. forgiving it. I'm just saying that was a very harsh sentence. I, I mean, would fry him know. like battered shrimp. Thank you. Time, but yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. we got to take a break. Yeah. All right, here's the new album, Bad Religion, and the book. Or, uh, I would say listen to this while you're reading this. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, Michael McKee and Shannon Elizabeth, Molly Jean Fast, and Melissa Muscle.